Hello, welcome to NCV Level 4, Carpentry and Roof Work. Our topic for today is doors and door furniture. I am Mr. V and Zomba. First, we need to know the purpose of this topic. In this topic, you will learn about the trimming and hanging of solid and hollow core doors, as well as the furniture, such as the mortise lock, the peep holes, the carbon hooks, and weather strips. You will also learn about the difference between a left hand and a right hand lock. Furthermore, you will see how to dismantle and reassemble a two or a three lever deadlock to reverse the direction of lash. Learning objectives. The first objective is, is to define what is a door. The second one is places that require a door. The third one is how doors operate. The fourth one is the purpose of a door. The fifth is types of doors. And the sixth one is fitting and hanging a door. Let's look at uh, the first objective, definition of a door. A door is a hinged sliding or revolving barrier at the entrance of a building, a room, or in a framework of a cabinet. Our second objective is places that require a door. We require a door on a doorway and on an opening and on a hatch and on an entrance and also you require a door at an exit. The third one, how does doors operate? First one, roll up. There are some doors which roll up when they are opening, mostly seen on garage doors. There is an example of a garage door and it rolls up when it's opening. Second one, some doors they fold. So they've got a folding action used on shop entrances. They may be wooden, they may be aluminium. The third Sliding doors. We also have some doors which open by sliding. Modern houses mostly on aluminium doors. There's an example of a sliding door which is made out of aluminium. There are some which are made out of wood. The fourth one, some doors swing open. They swing, it means they are hanged on either side, either on the left or on the right, used in offices or residential buildings. This is the most common way of uh, operating a door. The fifth one, some doors revolve, uh, mostly on entrance to the malls, casinos, and banks. They are normally used mostly for security purposes. There is an example of an aluminium revolving door. Some doors, they've got a flip open action. Overhead, mostly on overhead kitchen cabinets. Those cabinets which are at a higher position than normal. Now we go on to the purpose of a door. A, a door is used for privacy. Some doors are designed to prevent anyone outside from viewing and hearing what is inside or vice versa. 
Some doors, they are used for security or safety purposes. When the door is locked, no one can take out or bring in anything without permission. Aesthetic value. Some doors improve the appearance of the building. And they may be gold painted or with a very nice finish to it. So it improves the appearance outside or inside the building. Some doors are a connecting link between rooms. Uh, doors are a connecting links to the next room or exiting the building. Uh, in some cases, you find that a door can be used for ventilation. Uh, a door can also improve the ventilation system, especially in the kitchens. You see some doors which are opening halfway. Types of doors. There are several types of doors which, are, which we see, but at our level, we will look at solid core or external doors and hollow core or internal doors. The most common type of doors is the solid core, also referred to as external doors or outside doors. Hollow core doors are used inside the building. The external door thickness is normally 45 millimeters or more in thickness. The external door's thickness is normally below 44 millimeters. Doors can be hung on either a metal or a wooden door frame. One. Let's focus now on the solid core or external doors. We've got uh, different types of examples which are listed here, five of them. Paneled doors, casement doors, fire check doors, stable doors, and flush solid doors. The first one, we'll look at the paneled doors. There is an example of a paneled door, it's a picture. It is showing an eight paneled door which is made out of a hardwood. It's very strong. The second type of a solid door, we've got a casement door. There is a casement door normally used on the front or in the entrance of a nice building or in the house. It has got a glass panel, but it's called a casement door or a French door. Number four is the fire check door. The fire check door is used to prevent fire from getting in or outside the building. It has got an asbestos or a metal in between or in one end of the surface. A stable door, there's an example of a stable door. It opens halfway. You can close the door in the kitchen but leave the top part open to allow ventilation or heat to escape from the kitchen. It is traditionally used on the horse stables. The fifth type is a flush solid door. There is a flush solid door. It has got a framework and a solid material in between and a veneer on the surface. There is the top rail, there is the core, it is normally some gypsum material or solid wood which is nominated together. There is a style which has got a lock block as well. Next we go to internal doors or hollow core doors. Uh, we have got two examples here. Flash semi-solid doors and framed, laced, braced and buttoned doors. Let's look at their structure. Flush semi-solid door. There is a flush door. This one is different. It has got a light cardboard honeycomb 
material in between and a frame, a very thin frame on the outside which is 44 millimeters uh, in section and a lock block laminated to that. The face however is made out of hardboard or a thin veneer but normally it's hardboard which is a cheap material. Um, it is also uh, laminated with a timber, a thin strip on the closing style where we close the door, where we put the mortise lock, there is a thin strip of solid timber there. Then we go to the framed, laced, braced and buttoned door. There is the example of this. Some have got a double face, but this one has got a single face. And in the back, in the front, there are some buttons. In the back, there are some braces and rails. It is normally made out of saligna, or Mirante. It is a very strong type of door. Questions. Let's look at this, at this question which has got part questions to it. Uh, name the type of door made from the following materials. South Africa pine covered with masonite or plywood. Second one. Hardwood panels fitted between hardwood styles and rails. Third question. Glass panels set in a Miranti framework. Fourth question. Solid wood covered with sheet metal on the surface. Last question. Tongue and groove slates fitted to horizontal rails and diagonal. So I'll give you a chance to focus on this question on your own and put some answers to it. Trimming and hanging of doors. Doors can be fitted and hung with, without electric power tools. All hand tools must be sharp to produce a neat finish. Use of sharp tools also reduces a risk of getting injured during the process. Some carpenters prefer electric power tools, which are fast in most instances, hence you save time. Let's look at these small questions. Uh, this is for you to anticipate what is coming next. Uh, question one, illustrate a simple wooden door frame and label the following members. So you're supposed to label the jumps, the header, and a ribbit. The second question, state one advantage of a wooden door frame over the metal door frame. Let's now look at fitting and hanging of doors. The carpenter must follow the process in installation which is clearly defined by the following steps. The first step, assessing the doorway opening. Checking the door frame materials to be used, measuring and type of door to be used. This is what you do when you're assessing the door frame. The second step is marking. Uh, in marking, it includes the use of a pencil to mark lock and hinge position and mark where the door might need trimming. Uh, trimming where the door might bind in some instances. The third step is fitting. You carry the door to the side to the door frame and you put it in the frame. After trimming, the carpenter will test if the door fits perfectly in the door frame. The fourth step is on hanging. This is where the door is fitted with the hinges and hung to the door frame. The fifth step is easing. Use of smoothing plane to trim any edge that is binding to the door frame. 
The sixth step, installation of door furniture. The carpenter fit the mortise lock, door handles, and the strike plate. And also might put the people if necessary and the door hook. Fitting a door is in the final category of final finishing of carpentry. It can be done first by experienced carpenters using power tools or by hand tools. Trimming and any other adjustment during installation should be done close to the entrance where you are working. Let's now look at uh, parts of inside doorway structures. The door frame. The door frame must have uh, jumps, two vertical posts. Second, the door frame must have a rebate. It's normally on, uh, on the two jumps and on the header as well. This is where the door fits to flush with the door frame. The header, this is the top member of the door frame, usually goes into the brickwork. There is a diagram of a door frame, a wooden door frame. It is showing the header on top. In the middle, it's identifying the jump. And those two lines inside the jump and on the uh, header and the opposite jump, it is showing the ribbit where the door fits. We also fit the door frame which architrave. Architrave were used to cover the gap between the door frame and the wall. They may be out of gypsum or made out of wood. Door furniture is also installed after hanging the door, e.g. the mortise lock and the door stay. Now let's look at the outside doorway. And the first thing that you need to know about the outside doorway, it is constructed using hardwood, normally miranti, which does not allow or does not absorb moisture. Second, it is also thicker than the internal door frame. Third, Door frame riveted one side to accommodate the door when closed. Fourth, lowest member called the seal or the threshold prevents water from entering the building. Fifth, also has a head which has got a ribbit as well. The sixth, the outside door will also have a door furniture, which is the strike plate, latch bolt, face plate, bullseye, hinges, weatherboard, and a door stay. Study questions. Number one, state three ways of how to operate a door. Number two, name three types of solid core doors. Number three, Explain the difference between an internal door frame and external door frame. Number four, list six stages followed when installing a solid core paneled door. Okay, in our conclusion, let's go back to the question, the first questions which I allocated earlier on, uh, which says, name the type of door made from the following materials. The first one, a South African pine covered with masonite or plywood. We have got two types of doors which are like that. The first one is the flush solid core door, which has got this veneer and the framework and the solid core in the middle. It can be laminated timber in the center and the top rail and the bottom rail. Then we also have the flush semi-solid door, which is also the same structure, but it has got different material. 
normally it has got a masonite or a hardboard and then cardboard material in the, in the center forming the honeycombs. Then it is framed with a solid pine and a lock block. So these are the two types of doors. Second question, hardwood panels fitted between hardwood tiles and rails. We have got uh, one type of door which is made out of this. It's an external door. Let's look at the structure. There is it, number one. It was our first door on external door. It has got a hardwood frame and the panels are listed in between there. But they can be eight like this or two. Uh, some are three, but uh, they are framed equally and are decorated nicely. They bring out a nice finish to the door. Then the third type of door, glass panels set in, in a Mirante framework or any other hardwood, hardwood framework. We have got uh, the casement doors. This one, number two, the casement door. It has got a glass panel and a hardwood framework. Sometimes it is an aluminum framework with glasses. So it's a French door or a casement door. Then number four, solid hardwood covered with sheet metal on the surface. This one is a fire check door. It prevents fire from penetrating a building. There's an example. Normally it has got an asbestos in between or a metal in between or on one face. So fire cannot penetrate inside or outside the door. It prevents fire from getting out. Then the fifth type of door, tongue and groove. Uh, slates fitted to horizontal rails and diagonal. It is this one, the framed, laced, braced, and buttoned door. The tongue and grooves are there behind, and then the braces and the rails. There's a frame of styles and rails which forms this type of door. Let's look at another set of questions. Uh, illustrate a simple wooden door, wooden door frame, and label the following members. So when they say illustrate, is the same as saying sketch or draw. So when you draw, you must draw three members. You only require to draw three members, two vertical ones and one horizontal on the top. Uh, when you finish sketching, then you put the labels which are requested by the examiner, which is the gems, the header, and where the ribbit is. And the second question is, state one advantage of a wooden door frame over a metal door frame. Uh, the one advantage is that um, a wooden door frame is user friendly to the carpenter. You fit the hinges where you see they are okay but on a metal door frame, it comes with the inches. So you have to adjust yourself to fit those inches on the metal. But on a wooden door frame, you have to fit the inches where you think it is the most proper position of the door. Let's look at another set of questions. On the first question, there is a diagram which answers the first question. It has got a header, the jumps, and the ribbit. Now let's look at uh, the study questions. State three ways of how to operate a door. We 
due to them on the first uh, first subheading and we have got several types of uh, operations of a door the first one for example it can be a roll up door or it can be a revolving door it can be a swing opening door and it can be a flip opening door so those are the ways doors operate then uh, the second question name three types of solid core doors uh, this is a simple it, simple question it's a panel door a fire check door a casement door or a french door and uh, it framed laid and button door there are several others that you can include but we just gave you those four for now the third question explain the difference between an internal door frame and external door frame and the difference is in the material that is used uh, the external door frame has got thicker hardwood material and the internal door frame can be used with uh, soft wood and it can be it has got measurements which are smaller than those of an external door frame uh, the six steps that are followed when hanging a door is the first one you need to assess so the first step is assessing the doorway opening you check the door material you check the door if it's not damaged you measure if it is the correct size of the door for the door frame which is fitted there and the type of door is it the correct type of door which has been chosen by the owner so you assess the second step is marking uh, on marking you must have a tape measure and a pencil uh, first thing you use a pencil to mark where you are going to put the mortise lock you mark also the position of the hinge and you mark where the door might need trimming so that's the second step marking out then the third step is fitting you trim the door after trimming the door you test if the door fits perfectly into the door frame if there are any errors you trim it before you hang the door then the fourth step is hanging this is where the door is fitted with the hinges there's a process where you fit the hinge you cut the recess and you screw the hinge to the door and then you screw it to the door frame then the fifth step is easing after you have hung the door if you try to close it and it's uh, touching the door frame you plane it with a very sharp smoothing plane and then until it's closing perfectly the sixth and the last stage is installation of door furniture uh, the carpenter fits the mortise lock the door handles and the door strike plate and there are other things that you can fit uh, the door hook and uh, the um, the people so these are the steps that are followed when fitting and hanging a door uh, in the next step we'll be looking at uh, the theory that you look at before you do the practical of the installation of a door and door furniture thank you mm -hmm.